Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How about this? In today's video, I'm going to be putting up three obsidian flames booster bundles versus 18 sleeved booster packs. This is the third expansion of the Scarlet and Violet era, so without Puppy. further scooby ado, let's get it. All right, guys. So here we have it: three obsidian flames booster bundles, which equates to 18 packs. Is the booster bundle just like your um, build and battle? Um, what are they called again? Build and battle kits building battle kits the only difference is you don't get the promos the stamp promo card in it six pack and here are the sleeve boosters i got all of these from the pokemon center website and they sent me literally nine tyranitar terraform sleeve boosters and nine forever room sleeve boosters i don't think the actual artwork on the outside of the packs matter because on the inside it's different but yeah that's what i got um, I'm gonna crack these all open and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so 36 packs in total. The left side is the booster bundles and the right side is the sleeve boosters. But before we get started, there's two things I want to mention. Firstly, if you enjoy my videos and you haven't already, I'd very much appreciate it if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box as of me hitting 500 subscribers. And second, as of me recording this video, um, Pokemon World Championships in Japan has just ended, ended and they've revealed something for the next set coming in November, I believe. I'm going to play a short clip to show you what's coming in November set. Alright guys, so that's what we can expect for November set. It's looking good and might as well get started straight into the packs. And after that reveal, I guess that's what we can talk about in today's subject while I open these packs, which are a bit tough. These booster bundles, they, the packs from the booster bundles seem a bit like more aired. There's more air in them, they're not as vacuum packed. But yeah, oh my days, that reveal. Have you seen those paradox pokemon oh my days that's gonna be good for the set can't wait for that dark right into it. now that i've seen that um i'm looking forward to that roaring moon oh i'm hoping the sir is coming with that roaring moon even that iron valiant those two cards those two pokemon are sick but it's because of that reveal oh high five i wasn't meant to do that but going back to my roots um because of that reveal i'm hoping the next set or coming soon okay gloss or blue scissor oh yeah and before carry on as well um these booster bundles i'm not expecting anything to be honest if i'm lucky what was that three packs in um if i'm lucky one per booster bundle so probably three hits from these 18 packs on these booster bundles if i'm lucky that's what i feel like with booster bundles that i feel like they're not that worth it anymore I'll see how toy. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so our first hit, that's one hit at least anyway. Pull out Gita, yes, I'll take that. I need that, I need that. Off to a good start with the booster bundle so far. Off to a good start, actually. That's a good start. But yeah, um, what I'm looking forward to now that the paradox has been revealed is Iron Thorns show up an image but it's basically the future version of tyranitar oh my days i can't wait for that one that one's gonna be epic puppy eater but yeah let me know in the comments down below guys how you feel about this review about the paradox pokemon um the new i guess fusion strike rapid strike and single strike kind of um mechanic as well instead it's ancient and future looks good so far looks good so far with a couple cards that they revealed it's, look, it's not looking too bad so then high five. High five. so far four packs in through the first booster bundle and we've got a full art not bad so that's one hit so far from one booster bundle which is kind of my expectations to be honest sometimes you can get lucky and pull more i think i recently watched a video where someone pulled five out of six they pulled five hits out of the six cards or the six packs 
But to be honest, I'm expecting one, at least one. I would say you should be lucky enough to at least get one hit for boost bundle. Even if it's just an EX. I've got lucky with one of them. This is the last one from one booster bundle. And I got a full art from there, which I'm glad I got. That's not too bad, a full art. My booster bundle is not too bad. Let's go! And yes, I've pulled it now. Yes, my chase card has been pulled. The Houndo, Houndour, illustration rare. Oh my days, I love this artwork oh, of the Houndours, Houndours. There's like five of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, even. I think it's one just on the corner down there. I think it's one. Can't do, can't really tell. But I believe that's one. Oh my days. I can't wait for Hound Doom. I can't wait for Hound Doom's illustration rare or special illustration rare, whichever one they do. Or the full art, even. Can't wait. Let's go! Double banger, guys. Double banger. Charizard EX as well. I've got the whole Charizard charm and the get up as well. They've got the beanie, got the t shirt, the playmat. I bring out the playmat, especially for this one. Oh, yes. Is this going to be a Charizard pool video? Nice. Right, moving on to the second booster bundle, which are upside down. And these ones, these are the ones that feel more aired there's like more air in them they're not as vacuum packed three hits from one booster bundle not bad one of them was a double banger which is nice but still three hits that is good that is good Omega, Bronzo, Rock Ruff, Trio Let's go! wow oh my days I was not I was not expecting it although the EX is and then nothing special apart from that Gita full up more or less I pulled two I'd say chase cars the Houndour and then the Houndoom EX nice I feel like if I can pull more of these in good conditions, I'm gonna grade. I'm gonna grade um, the Hound Doom. Even the Hound Dower, if I can pull another one, because these are gonna go into the binder. But if I can pull more than one decent ones that I think at least a 9 or 10 quality, I think I'm gonna send them off to Ace Grading. Granted, nothing special, guys, but special to me because Hound Dower and Door is and Hound Doom are my two favorite Pokemon. So pulling those two from these, nice. I haven't pulled them as well, so going for the Master Set, sweet. I will take that. I will take that. Buffalo, Abominable, Tra Gambit, Buffalo, Yoba. High five. High five. So September set and November set is shaping up to be a very good two. Wait, so one month from now, more or less for September set which is the 151 and then three months down the line November is Paradox which is going to be a new format kind of shaping up to be a good year for Pokemon that's shaping up to be a good year with Obsidian Flames obviously is mainly Charizard for me Charizard yes also the Houndour and the Houndoom yes illustrations rare illustration rares from this set as well I like them so as much as people are saying because it's a Charizard set and it's not that much of a big set this set is probably gonna get slept on oh. another full art but it's a full art that I already have damn it would have liked to have pulled something else but here we are full art Pidgeot EX alright last pack from the second booster bundle Last pack, so we pulled two? Was that Houndoom? Yeah, two. A full art and the Houndoom EX from another booster bundle, which is not bad, not bad. Two hits, I said one. I said one and we pulled three and two so far, so... Yep, two. Alright, the last booster bundle, last booster bundle. I'm gonna call it one hit. One hit from this. One hit from this booster bundle. It's probably gonna be an EX as well. Probably gonna be an EX. So far guys, my Obsidian Flames luck has been insane. I've opened up three Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. Yahoo! Ooh! Okay, so I could be wrong. I could be wrong. There's one here already. It's Bellipo. This is a nice card. Or Center of Shit, but it's a nice card. Yep, 
Yeah, I've opened up three Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes and one regular one. So I did one video with just the two. And all my days I already pulled the big boy. The big boy. The special illustration Red Charizard. And then my second one was the second video was the Pokemon Center versus Retail Elite Trainer box. That wasn't too bad as well. The Pokemon Center one was those pulls, those insane pulls. And then the retail ETB wasn't that bad to be honest. The retail ETB wasn't that bad, but in general, in general, so far, including this video here, my um Obsidian Flames up has been good. It has been good. I've only pulled what maybe three doubles now. I've opened up probably just about a hundred pack maybe. After this video, just about a hundred. Okay, so I was wrong. Pulled more than one. And this thing is off center, very off center kind of best between. Is it Vespi Queen or Vespi Quinn? I feel like it should be Ves Vespi Queen because it's sort of a bumblebee. But that's more spelled Vespi Quinn. So is it Vespi Quinn? Is it Vespi Quinn? But anyway, nice. So I pulled. I may have just pulled all. Maybe missing one. But I may have just pulled all of the terror from Full Art. Nice. packs left from the last booster um tell a lie not all of them i think the only one i'm missing now is charizard the charizard full up terraform which i have a feeling i won't be pulling i might get lucky in one of my booster boxes i've still got three booster boxes to open i might get lucky in one of those but in this video i feel like not i feel like i won't pull that i might get lucky with a gold card in this and if i do it could be the charizard could be it this would be sick if it was an all charizard pull cool. okay this Imagine pulling every Charizard in one video. Imagine that. The Charizard X right there already. Um, the full art terraform. The special illustration rare and a gold card. Imagine that all in one video. That would be an epic video. Epic. I think the only way you can actually do that is if you open up a case though. I doubt you can do that opening, up, opening a booster box. Or something along these lines. I mean booster bundles and sleeve boosters. They have the random factor, so technically you can if you're really lucky. But out of booster boxes, the only way you'd be able to do that is if you open up a full case in one video. Yeah, a full case in one video. I think those are your best chances of doing that. But in terms of a booster box and like from randomness, I don't think so to be honest. Peter Baron. Alright guys, so that was the booster bundles done. Um before we get started into the next part, here's some cold cards. I've had lying around from extras, so brilliant stars, astral radiance, astral radiance, another brilliant stars as I've picked that one across, and then another astral radiance. So that's five of them right there. And also, if you're currently enjoying the video and you stuck with me this far, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. When we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box as of me hitting 500 subscribers. But without further ado, be do, let's get into the rest of the video. Alright guys, so so sleeve oh my days, it's lucky of what the hell? That's probably from the glue from the sleeve boosters. Um sleeve boosters, sleeve boosters. Eee, these are more random than I these I think I'd say these are more random than um booster bundles, possibly, maybe. I don't know, not too sure. But apart from I think my best my best encounter when it came to sleeve boosters was from Evolving Skies. Because of the broken batch, I managed to get myself a sealed broken batch case of sleeve boosters. And that was definitely the best sleeve boosters. But apart from that, have I really opened up sleeve boosters? And I'm sure these cold cards, the text is way smaller than usual. Anyway. But yeah. Apart from that, have I, I haven't really been opened up. I haven't really opened up sleeve boosters since Scarlet and Violet. Because I believe that booster box is the best way to go. I normally open up certain things just for the sake of opening every product as a video. But in terms of booster bundles and sleeve, like sleeve boosters and stuff like that, the random products. Obviously, I'm definitely going to be opening up Elite Trainer with the Pokemon and Elite Trainer boxes and booster boxes. But the rest, I feel like I'll open it just for the sake of promos in most cases. No, no. Here's our first hit from Sleeve Boosters, Uglymora EX. 
second one I pulled. Or was it the third one? Either second or third. But yeah, since Scarlet and Violet era, I believe in booster boxes more now. But like, unless you're unless you can't really spend that much on a booster box in all in one go. Booster boxes are the way to go because you're guaranteed like more or less 12 hits and at least one SIR as far as I know. I think I've seen boxes where you don't get one. Yahoo! Reverie EX nice, I think I need that one. I think there's an EX that I actually need Reverie, nice. But in saying that though, seeing my luck right now between these booster bundles and the uh, sleep booster is not too bad. No SIR, no SIR yet, but um, that's what, free full arts? Yeah, free full arts. Not bad, not bad. In terms of full arts, that's, that's like, I would say one of the best rarities you can get. Up. Aside from the SIRs and the uh, yeah. another gloom. Damn it, there's a third one. The bad thing, kind of, about randomness is that you're going to get doubles probably. Thunderous. Although in booster boxes it's set, so you're guaranteed one, but in randomness, you could be pulling three to four SIRs if you're that lucky. You could pull three to four SIRs in one, like batch, depending on how many you open. You can, you might even die. Let's just say three packs and get ultra lucky and get three SIRs. Kind of the gambling, the random factor of um, these kind of products. But yeah, to be honest, in terms of pull rates, not that bad. Not that bad. I mean, 36 packs and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hits. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 hits. Too short for my booster box and there's still quite a few left from the sleep boosters. Are we expecting at least two more? Possibly even more than that, to be honest. Icon Rock, Magnemite, Rock Trio, Kita. I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any um, SIRs or gold cards in this video to be honest I feel like in terms of gold cards or SIRs it's going to be in my booster boxes I still have um, triple pack blisters and a single check in blisters to open as well but I think the big hitters are going to come from the booster boxes now in one of my Pokemon Sun Elite trainer boxes I pulled two yeah I pulled two SIRs in that one box that was Probably the best elite trainer box you can get. Putting two SIRs in one elite trainer box. That luck is good. That luck is good. And I think that was the Charizard one. So the Charizard and an extra SIR. Sick. Cold scroll. Play the oh my days going on a dry run now. Yeah, see the nature of sleeve boosters. You might get a couple of hits quick time. And then the rest will be dry. I wonder how the Pokemon Center actually like picked these out for me. Did, from the case that you get. Did they just... Are they all ordered in the same like um line or what you call it drop and then they just grab nine of each from that drop that must have been how they did it if they given me like straight up nine runner to sleeves and then nine river rooms uh, that's probably how they're packed in in the case but that's how they grabbed it out oh it's phantom danny phantom Bupa, Bizzle, Diggers B, Zoro. Kind of big old dry run now though, there's nothing. Yahoo! Here we go, just as I say that, we get a um, IR, Illustration Rare Larvitar, which I've already pulled though. Nothing on the back. We've got 7 packs left, and we've pulled 1, 2, 3, 4 hits out of 18 packs from these sleeve boosters. It's looking like the booster bundle is definitely going to win. I don't see how these, these boosters can be it. Unless I pull like Charizard, I guess. I think Charizard is going to be the only savior. Unless, oh, unless I pull more full arts. The Moro EX. Do I have this one? I don't remember pulling it. I might have it, I might not. Yeah, at this point, open up 100 plus packs. I'm gonna be looking at getting doubles. Although, in this one, one, two, three, four, four doubles. 
not too bad to be honest not too bad um definitely my booster box is which i think the boost there's gonna be a booster box in this video i think i'll do a booster box in the next video more than likely i'm gonna put doubles in that and then the rest of the remaining like products that i'm gonna be opening probably if i do get hits more than likely i'm gonna be pulling more doubles from there I would love to double up on Charizard obviously make back a little bit of income from buying these that would be nice or even put it in my grey path Houndstone Eater as I said at the beginning I wasn't expecting much actually I, was, I wasn't expecting much when I boosted one of the switch didn't actually they did better than what I expected um, I expected a little bit better from the sleeve boosters but they're actually disappointing me now We've only pulled what, one full of the Glimmer out of this and nothing else special. Let's go! And then just as I say it, I pull another Gita. Damn it! Come on! Every time I pull something like this and it's a double, I could just, I'm just thinking it could have been a Charizard. Could have been something else that I don't have. I think it's just a Charizard that I'm missing in terms of full arts now anyway. With three packs left, I'm guessing that's it. That Gita is going to be the last pull that I get in the video. Although I think I see something in this one, possibly. But it's probably gonna be a dud. Just putting me off. It could be something. Oh well, Sunfist, Umbreon, Poppy, Lovesta, Pobolch. Yep, it was a dud. Alright, two packs remaining. Two packs remaining. Are we gonna get anything? Are we gonna get anything else? High five! And there's the pull card. Bloom, Bronzo. I think I see Pete. I think I see Pete. Probably gonna be wrong again, Lily Pot. Yep, wrong again. Alright, guys, last pack, last pack. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six hits from Steve Boosters. Not too bad. I think we've gone over. Definitely gone over Booster Box. It rates. But nothing special apart from Full Art. How many Full Arts is that? Four. Four Full Arts. In the video not too bad two irs three irs yeah not bad to be honest not bad just no irs okay nope and I i'm not as disappointed as i thought i was gonna be to be honest no sirs and no golds but we did pull one two three four five full arts and one two three four illustration rares one two three four yeah this, yeah not bad 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hits. So booster box rates more or less. Booster box boost hit rates. The only difference is you're not getting the set. Um, 1 SIR, possibly 1 SI, 2 SIRs and then 1 SIR, 1 gold. And then I think it's 2 illustration rares per booster box as well. 2 to 3 full art. But this was more or less booster box. Full rates. Just minus the, the 2 high end top cards. But yeah guys, that was 3. Obsidian Frames Booster Bundles versus 18 Sleeve Boosters. If you enjoyed the video and you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more. And when we reach 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway for the most recent Elite Trainer Box as of me hitting 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching. Peace.